Wouldn't it be nice if every day of the week we could all make a big epic lasagna, or maybe some ragu, maybe a timbalo? Unfortunately, that's not really possible for most people. Also for us, Arpe, it's not possible. Definitely not for us. That's why in this video, we're gonna take you guys through an entire five-day work week of some of our favorite weeknight dinner recipes. These are very simple recipe, Arpe, that everyone can cook at home. We cook them a lot because when we are busy and we we can't spend time to make a lasagna, anyway we need something good to eat. Before we get started, let us know in the comments below, what's your favorite go-to weeknight meal? Maybe we'll add it into our weekly menu. So today is Monday, it's the beginning of our week. And Mondays are always kind of weird for us because Ava teaches in the evening. And so she's usually busy right up until the time that we eat dinner. So this is a recipe that takes a while to cook, but you can cook it well in advance and basically have it ready for dinner. Today we are going to eat beans and greens. Beans and greens? I don't know, do you call it in English? Yeah, we can call it beans and greens. Okay. What would you call it in Italian? In dialetto? <laughs> Sacra Suriaca. Sacra Suriaca? Sacra. Sacra. Sacra is a Swiss chard, and uh, Suriaca is beans. This is one of my favorite dishes, and I'm only just learning now what it's called. Because we can't eat raw beans, <laughs> we need to cook them, and we will cook them in the most simple way, with just some water. We will make them boil. Uh, in this case, they will take about one hour and an half, maybe two hours. Remember to add always some water when uh, you need to add, to add it, because we will need them to be always covered with water. When they are cooking, maybe we need to stir them, but never use this. You do like that. And we do this because we don't want to break them. Beans are cooking, and now we need to cook our greens. This time we are going to use the Swiss chard, but keep in mind that with this kind of dish you can also use, for example, for example broccoli rob, rob. broccolini. You can use cabbage, so your favorite greens. We cook this for about uh, seven, eight, min eight minutes, or uh, until uh, the white part that you call Harper stem, stem, stalk, stalk. The white part is tender. This should be soft but not mushy, and mine are more or less done. So at this moment. It's the time in which we can season them. And I'm going to season them in the Calabrian way, which means salt, a clove of garlic, and a spicy pepper. Now, the beans are cooked. The greens are cooked. And I can go and teach Italian. So, see you in a little bit. Buon lavoro. Ciao. Two hours later. Now is the moment in which finally we can combine our dish. And we start with garlic and spicy pepper. I'm heating up the oil at medium temperature and when the garlic starts to bubbling a little bit, I will add our greens. We need to saute our greens for about five minutes. So they will take all the flavor of the oil. Now we cook beans and greens together for about uh, five minutes, seven minutes, just the time that they get along, along, they, they, <laughs> they, they create up. a relationship between them. And then we will serve in a plate and on top we will put some breadcrumbs and if you like, more spicy pepper. I have a feeling that a lot of people would underestimate the power 
of these simple bean dishes. But I wanna tell you a story about, you remember our trip to Florence? We tried all kinds of amazing dishes. The dish I most fondly remember from that day in Florence was a bowl of beans with nothing but salt and olive oil. Ah, because uh, beans are uh, delicious by themselves. It's like they are a gift. They're amazing. I grew up hating beans until I had some of these simple bean dishes. I grew up loving beans and I still love them. Yeah, because you grew up eating them like this. Now, after here, we use the cannellini beans because they are my favorite beans. If you don't have the cannellini beans and you want to use the kidney, Kidney beans. Pinto beans, black beans, red beans, lima beans, all the beans that you want, they will work very well. Bon appetito. Unlike Garfield, I don't really hate Mondays because uh, with Ava's teaching schedule, it sometimes gives her an excuse to uh, cook beans. Why you not like Garfield? He hated Mondays. Why? You didn't know that? He also loves lasagna. In that sense, I am like Garfield. You can prepare the beans the day before, uh, the greens the day before, put in the fridge, and the moment in which you need to eat, 10 minutes put together and it's ready. Yeah, it's not maybe a quick recipe, but it's super simple and it's actually very convenient because you can kind of cook it when you have time and then it's just ready to go. If you saw our last video all about squash, uh, as I'm recording this, I've been editing that video all day. Worked up an appetite. It was cooking meat tonight, and I think you guys are gonna like the recipe because it's super versatile. You can use it with a bunch of different kinds of meat. Today, Alper, we are going to eat carne alla pizzaiola. And it's one of the dish that my mother always cooked, at least once a week. This evening, I'm going to use veal because this is what my mother usually cooked. But feel free also to use another kind of meat like beef. Important is that uh, the meat is very, very thin. It's like more or less a cutlet. We put the meat in our pan and we cook each side for about one minute. One clove of garlic sliced. This is the most important ingredient and this is a very good oregano. I'm adding some whole peeled tomatoes and I'm crushing them so I'm sure that uh, the tomatoes will create the sauce for our meat. We reduce the heat, uh, which means uh, medium low. And the next step is just uh, wait 15 or 20 minutes until the meat is done. I need a little bit more salt. Probably out of any of the dishes we're gonna show you guys this week, this is probably the one we eat the most. Mostly because it's the ultimate savior if you like forget to go grocery shopping, you're like, oh my gosh, we have almost nothing because there's always a can of tomatoes and you can use basically any kind of meat. Like you've done it with beef, you've done it with veal, you've done it with pork, you can even do it with chicken. As long as you can cut it into little cutlets, you're good to go. I've definitely not ever accidentally forgotten to pick something up at the store so that we could eat this instead. <laughs> Definitely not. So I didn't make this uh, spicy, but if you want, you can add also some spicy pepper. Today I didn't. For the first time. <laughs> I've never had this <laughs> spicy pepper. <laughs> because we usually put more pepper than tomatoes. <laughs> what well, pepper what you do? Mm. You can't tell nothing bad against the carnal of Super quick, super easy, super delicious. Happy Wednesday, guys. Tonight's dinner I'm very much looking forward to because it is a Mama Rosa recipe, a Mama Rosa specialty. It's a rice dish. Now you may be thinking risotto, but no, it's actually a rice dish that I think is a little bit less intimidating than a risotto. Also, it's really delicious. But before we show you that, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Future is an app that pairs you with your very own personal trainer. I tried Future months ago and ever since I 
have been a dedicated, loyal, paying customer. I love Future, and in fact, I've been having so much success with it, Ava has now signed up too. We're both using it. When you sign up, it's very easy to find a coach who will work with you according to your goals. They'll come up with a workout plan tailored just for you and your needs. It doesn't matter if you work out at home like I do, if you have a bunch of equipment, or if you have none, that's fine too. If you work out at a gym, it doesn't matter. No matter your experience level, whether you're trying to build muscle or just lose weight, Future as a coach for you. My coach, Tyler, is amazing. He's always there for me, super available. When I'm following the workout on the app, it's very easy to text him if I have a question. I can send him a video, show him my form, make sure I'm doing everything okay. In the past, even though I've always worked out, I never wanted to have a real in-person personal trainer, partly because I like to be flexible. Some days, maybe I'm a little bit more busy than others, and I don't really like being held fast to like a specific appointment that I need to meet someone at a specific time. Having someone who's there, who's always updating my workout plans, keeping an eye on my progress, but is also something remote so that I can work on my time and have it be convenient for me and my schedule is awesome. Ava and I can't say enough good things about Future. We both love it. It's been a game changer for us and we think it will be for you too. Visit the link down in the description below. That's tryfuture.co slash postagrammer and you'll be able to try your first month for only $19. Give it a try for a month. I did and I'm not going back. Correct me if I'm wrong, this isn't just a Mamarosa specialty, it's a Mamarosa invention. See, si, more or less, it's a Mamarosa invention, and it's also one of my favorite dish when I was a child. I'm using Carnaroli rice, because this is what I have at home, but actually, if you have Arborio rice, it can work. If you have a Viello Nenano, it's the same, so we are not very picky on which kind of rice do you need. It's a dish that it's very easy to cook, because you don't have to treat it like a risotto. But in this case, we will treat the rice as a normal pasta, which means that you take a big pot full of water, or salted water, and you boil the risotto until it's al dente. While the rice is boiling, I need to take care of my sauce. In this case, my sauce is made out of eggs. I just break them, I beat them, I put some uh, black pepper, some salt, and that's it. Also here, guys, I'm using parmigiano, but if you prefer pecorino, feel free also to use pecorino or to mix parmigiano and pecorino. It depends on what you like most. I take it this is the kind of recipe where you can use really as much cheese as your heart desires. Like always, Alpero, there isn't a rule for cheese. As much as you like, as much as you want. <laughs> Perfetto. On a very low heat, add some butter and mix the rice very, very well. And then we put inside the eggs, we mix very, very well with as much cheese as you want. And when the rice is creamy like this, we are ready to eat. Quite frankly, I'm dying to dig into this, but I think you should very quickly explain the story of how this dish came to be. Okay, so one of my mother's uh, specialties are these uh, croquettes di riso that are made like that, but then uh, the rice is fried. And because when she was making them, I was eating the rice out of the pot, she thought, okay, let's serve these as a dish when she comes back from the school. They're extremely good once they're fried, but I know from experience, because when she's making them, she'll like give you a little spoonful to taste, and you take a bite, and in that moment, you're like, oh, do I have to wait for you to fry it? Can I just eat it? Completely all the pot. I know. It's a very easy dish. It takes the time to cook the rice. Yeah, and you really don't, it doesn't need nearly as much attention as a risotto. It's it's like boiling some pasta. If you've boiled pasta, you can make this. Bon, bon appetito. appetito. Because it's, it's good. It's super good. <laughs> well, Mama Rosa had to show up eventually, and here she is. Okay, so full disclosure, our Thursday actually was not very busy. Uh, we just watched a movie about wine. <laughs> We're keeping with the busy weeknight theme, though, for our dinner, which involves our favorite vegetable. Eggplants. 
It's a very simple dish. It doesn't take a lot of time. I need to be honest, it was born fried. I also understand that not everyone wants to fry at home during the week. So I decided that in this case, I will bake it. What we do now is basically make a sort of sandwich made with eggplants. In this case, I'm using scamorza cheese and some ham, but feel free to use all the things that you like. For example, you can use also tomato and mozzarella and they will taste a little bit like a parmigiana. You can use, I don't know, anchovies and mozzarella. You can substitute ham with salami. So be creative. And now we bread them before in flour, then eggs. I'm going to use polenta flour, but you can use also bread crumb or uh, I don't know, any coarse flour that you like. them at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes or anyway until they are uh, golden. Now because we have company over tonight, namely you, uh, I'm seeing some knives and forks in front of us, but to be completely honest with you, we normally just eat these by hand. Absolutely, these are like a sandwich, just like you can take one of these. So. Thank you. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. This is like, uh, it seems to eat a junk food without being a junk food. Yeah, and the amount of awesomeness you get for such a low amount of work and effort is great. And also it's a very easy way to make kids is for example some vegetables because usually they don't eat, they eh, like this. This would be a fun kids dish, which explains why I love it so much because I'm basically a big child. They are too good. <laughs> They're really good. I have been running errands all dang day. Finally heading home, and I think you guys can guess what we're having for dinner. Do you really think we could go a whole week without eating? Pasta! Did you get the parsley? Deciding which pasta dish to show you guys today was actually really difficult because most pasta dishes are really simple and really easy weeknight meals. Uh, but this is a fun one that I really like that I don't think Ava's ever cooked on the channel before. Have you ever cooked this one? No, it's the first time. We are going to make one of the, the easiest pasta dish that you can find in Italy. And the name is Pasta alla Carrettiera. Toasting some bread crumb with uh, just a little bit of olive oil, uh, just until it's a little bit brown. I'm using a spicy pepper. Then we had some capers, some olives and obviously some cherry tomatoes. Now actually it's not so obvious because there are version of this dish that doesn't use cherry tomatoes. So if you like and if you have, add it. Otherwise, just keep it. It's very important that you cook the tomatoes just for three minutes because we don't really need the cooked tomatoes. And now we had a bunch of parsley. Almonds, but feel free that uh, to use also pine nuts. Also here you can skip because actually this is a very versatile uh, pasta dish. Beloved 
ricotta salata and I'm going to use some of that. Then if you have, feel free to use it. If you don't have, you want to use pecorino, use pecorino. If you want to skip, skip it. This is a good end of the week. Yes, because we can't live a week without pasta. This is a funny one too, because unlike so many pastas, there's no one way to make this. There are so many variations of it that come to think of it, I'm not sure if I've ever had quite the same variation from you. Because actually, really, you can put the tomatoes, you can skip the tomatoes, you can add the an anchovies, you can skip the anchovies, you can put the olives and the capers. It's like, uh, you can uh, play with these four or five ingredients and then it will be always very good. Buon appetito! Look, I love my cheese on pasta, but breadcrumbs... I know how the breadcrumbs work well on a plate of pasta. It's just like one of the best toppings, it's amazing. Because it's crunchy, mm -hmm. and its simplicity is too, too good. And I think that here I speak for all Italians. If we Italians, for one week, or for any reason, for two weeks, one month, we don't have pasta, we dream. Not about lasagna, not about risotto or stuffed pasta, no, we dream about a plate of spaghetti. It's the simple ones that keep you coming back. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed taking a little look into the food that we eat on a regular weekly basis. Before we go, check out this not so easy pasta dish that a pasta grammarian made, a beautiful pan of cacio e pepe. That one's simple, but not so easy. Also check out our merch store down below. Trust me, your weeknight dinners will taste better when you are wearing a glorious Buon Appetito t-shirt. All right guys, we'll see you next week. Ciao. Hello. Which wine should I open? Uh, the caricante. Caricante? Sì, sì, yeah. Oh, sta pasta è troppo buona. Oh, uh, do you want to grab the veggies? No. Do you take some cheese? Yes, please. Oh, ah, per uh, San Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Okay. Is that the vacchio rosso? CR, but we have just the vaccaros. Okay. Oh, Arpero, your pasta is cold. All right, all right. Buon appetito. Buon appetito.